don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today I'm going to be creating an art journal page which is a uh, almost a reconstruction of a very famous painting from 1964 done by a Belgian surrealist painter called René Magritte or René Magritte, depending which way you want to pronounce it. Um, so I'm going to switch over to my other camera and show you what I'm going to try and recreate today. Okay, so to do today's art journal page, I'm going to be working in my 8x8 Dilusions art journal that Ian gave me for Christmas. I've only done a couple of pages in this because so far this year I've actually done more of the volume of the dolls pages than I have ordinary art journal pages, plus the Mission Inspiration um, projects are done in my circle journal and the mid-month mini missions are done in my tag journal. So I haven't really done that many ordinary kind of art journal pages at all this year. So I thought it might be a bit fun um, just to step out of the ordinary today. Well, doing a normal art journal page is kind of uh, out of the ordinary for me at the moment. Um, and recreate this um, page or this image from René Magritte, The Son of Man. So here's my page. I'm going to just um, divide it up kind of into three. So I want a low portion down here. Um, with a pencil, yes. I'm just going to do a really, really light kind of mark on the page just to kind of give me a dividing line. And then we're going to separate the page again about here. Okay, so that should do it. So I've got the bottom portion and then I've got the top portion up here. Um, what I'm going to do just to get started, I'm going to put a clear coat of, am I going to put a clear coat of gesso down? Or should I actually just put a page down of white? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think I'm going to put white down for a change. Um, and I can always redo those lines if I, t if I cover them up. Yeah, I should have thought about this before I actually started filming, shouldn't I? But, you know, you get these ideas and you just go with them. <laughs> well, I do anyway. I don't know about anybody else. I tend to get an idea and just sit down and work it through. Let it work out. It, it work itself out on the page. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No harm done. I always say, it doesn't matter if you're experimenting or playing about, as long as nobody gets hurt, then what's the harm? Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I leave a little bit so I can see where that line was. It might actually show through um, the gesso anyway, which is fine. I'm not bothered if he doesn't. So I had a bizarre um, encounter with our postman this morning. Um, not the usual postman, the new postman that I've not seen before. And um, he delivered a parcel for me and one for Ian. Um, and the one for me um, was supposed to be signed for, but he wouldn't let me take his little electronic machine to sign it. He just put an X <laughs> instead because obviously if he's handling the machine he doesn't want other people handling it all day, which I can understand. I can understand. Anyway, right, so let's get this gesso dry. So we've got a, a little bit of a white base coat to start off with. I'll get it dry and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the gesso is dry. Now I can still see the two dividing lines that I kind of created, um, which is fine. Happy about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start building up um, the next kind of set of layers. Just throwing things around now, look, dropsy today. So the first bottom section here, I've got my TCW um, bricks or bricked stencil. So I'm going to create 
Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this bottom part, this bottom section down here, black. And then I'm going to go over the top of it with some grey paint to create some grey bricks. So I'll just clean off my brush. got some kitchen roll just to the side there. I've got my black gesso and then I'll just I'm not being perfect I'm not being you know really really exact with this. As long as I've got a bit of a line, a bit of a demarcation line, I'm gonna be fairly happy with it. So when this brick pattern is done, I will should have grey bricks over black so it'll, the mortar will be black because that's the way the stencil is. Okay. There we go. Because there's some sections of the page that doesn't have gesso on so Right, let's get that dried. It's going to be a lot of drying today. A lot of drying. Okay, so that black's dry, so I can bring in my TCW stencil. And I've got some Dina Wakely Elephant, which is grey. And I can put some of that just on my mat here. It doesn't look like there's much left of that now. Should be enough to do what I want to do anyway. I don't want to squeeze too hard. Oh, there we go. Because that's going to happen. All right. So a bit of a craft sponge, and I'm just going to hold it down, pick up some of the paint, and then start pounding through. Now I'm using a sponge because this is brick. So we'll get that nice kind of like mottled effect. Which looks a little bit like a stone texture. So we've still got the grey showing through or the black showing through in places. But I can go over this a couple of times if I want a, um, a more pronounced or contrasting stencil image but we'll see what it looks like first of all and then lift that up and then I'm going to just move the stencil along just so I overlap the pattern a little bit and then we can continue on like so. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So get that dried off. So the next part of the page, I've put some masking tape across there because this is the section of the page that's going to be um, ocean or sea or any kind of representation that I can get that looks a little bit like sea. Um, I have added a, a white, a, a white, a grey line across the top of the wall there just by doing a couple of lines of masking tape and then going back over the top using the last dregs of that grey paint that I had there. Um, I hadn't realised that my video camera that I normally shoot on, the battery was so low on it so I didn't manage to catch that bit but I've got a little bit of life left in it now. Um, so I'm going to quickly try and get this um, C kind of section done. So I've got a couple of brushes. So I'm going to simultaneously try and paint blue with some white. So I'm going to blend in um, white with blue in a kind of linear pattern, a horizontal pattern going across the page. So a couple of brushes. So just move that over there. Grab some of my blue Americana paint. So this is Indian turquoise. 
So I'm going to put a dollop of that down there. And I've got some titanium white. Or snow, as it's called, or it says on the bottle. And I'm going to put some of that right next to it. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to pick up the blue and then just lightly pick up a little bit of the white as well on the corner. And then I'm going to just pull it across and just blend in the white as I'm going. Try and do it in a kind of linear pattern going across the page. Hello there. Good morning everyone. Or oh, good evening wherever you are. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good, good evening. I've just been checking my stock of human eyes. Oh, there you go, he's saying. It's the same, same polite company. Exactly. See, these are, this is this is our life, this is our world. Two brown, one blue, two grey, no green. Gonna have to kill some people to get some green eyes. All right, okay. So. But you've got some in stock? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some white in. He's actually talking about plastic eyes, just in case you were wondering. Flashing human eyes. Yes. From, his, from a website. Yes. Not real human no, eyes. <laughs> no, that would just be a bit wrong. Just a tad. Right, so I should have put some more masking tape down there at the bottom. Right, let's just see if we can get a piece on there. Just to mask off that bottom of the wall. And as per usual, my masking tape's just dropped on the floor, which is fine. Okay. And then I can just go over and get a fairly kind of nice-ish line. It's those linear kind of um, highlights that give you that kind of faux impression of water. It's probably too wet and <laughs> too shiny for you to be able to see what I'm talking about. But as long as I've got a kind of impression, I'm not. Too bothered if it doesn't particularly work, you know. So let's put a couple of little wave breaks on there. And I think actually that's all I'm going to do. Just a kind of representation of. A little bit of ocean will do. So I'll just take that masking tape off and then take that masking tape off. And I think we're getting there slowly but surely. So I'll get that dried off, put some more juice in the camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, so the C section is C section. <laughs> My section of sea and ocean is dry. Um, and I've added another piece of masking tape just to the top, just to stop the next section from going over the top of the sky. So I'm actually going to probably work this way, because it might work easier if I do it down the page this way. So I've put out some grey, and I've got, still got the white, and I've still got a little bit of the blue, and I've still got my sponges from when I've previously used the white and the grey. And I'm going to use those to start mixing um, the paint to create a kind of cloudy sky effect on the page. So more white where it needed and I'm just going to go over adding in the grey and I'm just twisting my fingers like so just so that I'm not going in straight lines and if I'm going a bit too dark I can add in some white and I'm just going to dab and tap all the way through like this. I apologize if you can hear you on the phone downstairs. <laughs> so just work that paint in.
Okay, so just work in that paint. Just varying the colour, just mottling it. I know it's a bit difficult to see because the paint's also a little bit shiny. And then just working it around the page. Picking up some whites, blending in. I'll probably end up going on to fast forward just to speed up the process so you're not watching paint dry. So I think that's what I will do. So I will see you in a little while after I've finished creating my stormy sky. Okay, so it's still wet, still shiny, but you can just about see that I've got like a nice mottled effect for that sky. So if I now just pull back the masking tape, there we go, that gives us a nice third section for the background of my art journal. So I'm just going to get it dried off and then I'm going to have a break for about half an hour for lunch and then I will come back when it's all dry. Okay so that's had plenty of time to dry now and also my camera has had plenty of time to charge back up again. So we've done the background pretty much as is. So we've got the little stone wall, we've got the sea behind it and then we've got that cloudy kind of sky behind. So I now need to add in my main focal character. So for this I've delved into the depths of my Vintage Men collection and I've pulled out my photograph of, um, it's called Axel. So I know it's called Axel, because actually on the cabinet card it actually says Love Axel on it. Um, so what I did with this one is the cabinet card was, uh, had been scanned, um, so I brought it into Photoshop and I've hand tinted it with the face colour in, um, in Photoshop, in Adobe Photoshop. But unfortunately we're going to get rid of his face. I know, but I want to stick him down first. So just going to add some um, Tombow white PVA. I have gone round the edges with a um, vintage photo distress marker just to get rid of those raw white edges. Um, this Tombow glue is nearly all gone. Um, I must put in an order for some more because um, my local craft store has no longer or hasn't had the glue that I like in for ages. Um, and this Tombow stuff is a little bit a bit too expensive really for what it is. Okay so there's plenty of glue for that and I like this glue because I like the applicator. It is a proper fine tip applicator uh, and I'm going to place him in line with the bottom of the picture or of that page and just gently lay him down like so. Get rid of that bit off there. And then my homage to the René Magritte um, picture of the son of Adam, I think that's what it's called, I can't remember now, I've had a, I've had a rest haven't I? Uh, I'm actually, instead of an apple, I've actually got a lemon that I've printed out and cut out. So I'm going to drop some glue on the back. I did say this was a homage to that painting and I'm going to just lay it so it just sits nicely on his collar like so. Now obviously I'm aware that it's, um, it's covered up his hat a little bit and doesn't quite look the part. So I printed out two and I cut it out and again I've gone around the edges with um, with the distress marker and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. Now this isn't going to be an exact fit and an exact match 
but it's near enough. And I'm just going to drop that over the top. See, I could have just cut Axel's head off at the neck, <laughs> but I didn't really want to. So there you go. So the original René Magritte picture had an apple, which was obscuring um, the face. So I've put a lemon. And just for my quote for the page, I've printed off on the computer a little sign or a little quote block that just says when life gives you lemons. And that's it. I'm not going to do any more or continue the phrase because everybody knows what the next line of that is. And I just thought, considering what we're having to, what we're all having to go through at the moment, you know, when life gives you lemons, you just got to make the most of it. So that's going to be it for my art journal page. One thing I did want to do though is I've got a pro marker here, an alcohol pen, uh, and I'm just going to see whether I can just tint. Yeah, it's a bit too dark probably, but just add a little bit of colour with that pro marker. I was hoping I could make his tie a little bit orangey, but it's too dark, but never mind. You win some, you lose some. So that's going to be it, I think. So I need to grab a pen, if I can find one, there we go, I've got my Signal gel grip and all I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to sign it down here on this one and put today's date, whatever today's date is, what is today's date? The 17th, Tuesday the 17th of March, 17, 3, 20. There we go. And that is it. I'm not going to do any more to that page. I'm not going to add a border. I'm not going to add any splatters. I'm just going to leave it like that. So there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed me. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching me put that art journal page together. Again, something a little bit different. Um, I have done homages to other famous paintings in the past. So kind of goes with that collection doesn't it so i hope you enjoyed that if you did please remember to give the video a thumbs up and share the video with your friends if you feel so inclined and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video it's all from me for now i'll see you all again very very soon bye for now I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.